Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be trying out the Carter 101 Easy Skim Trowel. So I've been sent this trial to try out and to give my thoughts. I've not been paid to, to say anything. I've just been given the trial to try out. And I've got to say, I am very impressed with the trial. I think I've got one of the prototype trials. So this isn't what the final trial looks like. Um, if you do want to check them out and go to their website, carter101.com. It's taken me a little bit of time to find the way to use it best for me just because it was a little bit of trial and error. The way I like to use it is I like to use it from the second trial onwards. It takes all the stress out of it using it because with it being like a plastic rubbery finish, it's not doing the same job as the steel trials. Whereas when using a steel trial, you're actually you're pulling the stuff along and you'll it's you get a lot more moisture out of it. Whereas using a plastic trial, you're actually compacting the skim. So this is the trial. What I like about this trial is it gives like a matte finish. So I don't know if you can if you can see down the light. So basically it just whereas with a metal trowel, what tends to happen is that it just drags and polishes the skim. Whereas this sort of compacts it more because it's plastic. This is about the stage that I like to start using it because it should be fairly flat now. The um, should be fairly flat what I'm doing. So I'm not going to be digging out anywhere. All I'm doing is compressing the actual skim, which is making it go off faster. So I keep it as flat as I can. And the beauty with this is because of the ridges, it keeps you quite consistent all the way through. Right, so that's the finish you get out of the um, the Carter Easy Skim. It is a really good trial. Um, I don't use it the way that they have told me to, but I found a way that it works for me. With being a plasterer, you have your own methods, and everybody has a slightly different way of doing things. Nobody does it exactly the same, even if it's you know you start from the top or you start from the bottom or in the middle. It's, it's all a process, and you all have your own. So for me to go to using this trial all the way through, I don't think it would work. But I've now found a way where I think it works really well for me. So what I do is first first coat it, and then I put my speed skim on it, as like I usually do. Then I'll second coat it, and then I'll give it a trowel. And this is all with my Marshalltown trowel. Then I'll move over to the Carter Easy Skim. And I just like what it does takes all the lines out of it it's it's compacts it and makes it um so it's less greasy basically because it's plastic and what happens is that it goes off a lot quicker i then go on to my super flex trial and then i finish it off with the um easy skim then with trying out plastic trials this year has made a massive difference to me to the actual finish and i think painters are going to be a lot happier f th f than uh, me using my steel trial it just gives a lovely matte finish, just a super smooth, and it does take a lot of time off the setting time as well because of you're using the plastic halfway through. 
it just goes a lot, a lot quicker. So I'm really happy with it. Right, so that's how I like to use the Carter Easy Skim. I like it for the second trial. I think it just seems to make life a lot easier. I, I still like putting on the steel trial. Um, I don't know if you can see here, but the way that it's curved at the top, there isn't as, enough, there isn't, um, as much strength. Whereas obviously with the steel trowel, it's solid. That's why I like to use it later on once once the wall's flatter. So when I first got this trowel, I was told that I could use it all the way through. And for me, I prefer still to put on with my normal trowel. So would I recommend the Easy Skim trowel? Yes, I would. I think it is a great trowel. I do think you have to figure out how you want to use it yourself. One thing I will say is it really does speed up the setting time. As soon as I put the new trowel on, it just makes a massive difference. It just, everything seems to come together a lot quicker. So I did a job today and I think it was all set within two hours. That's with no additives, that's just normal skim and the finish was bob on. I do think the more I use it, the braver I'll become with the trowel. But at the moment, I think I'm quite happy with the method that I've found. So I've been using this trowel now on and off for the last month, a month and a bit, I would say. Um, in some of my videos, you'll probably see me using it, um, but I've not gone into much detail about it so far because I've been figuring out exactly the best time to use it. I think it's a very cool invention. It's something that you should try because with plastering, the technology is moving on and we should move with it as well. So I'm very happy that I've had a chance to use this trial. I would be keen to, to keep using it. I've been very impressed with them so far and I'm sure uh, you'll enjoy using them too. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you do like these videos, please like and subscribe. I drop these videos every Tuesday. If you have got any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Right, thank you very much, guys. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.